What is up, Benator Army? I am Gaminator5 coming at you with another video. And this is Inator News Part 3. Uh, no, I did not mess this up. Yes, it says Rocksteady on the screen. I'm supposed to say that. I don't need this. Okay. So, what do I mean by that? Well, guess you're gonna find out. Uh, some of you might already know what it means. If you do, good for you. Uh, if you don't, hopefully this can help. So, let's get moving. So, if you didn't know, Rocksteady is a, uh, well, a game developer that is owned by Warner Bros. Um, yeah. Uh, there are lots of rumors on the horizon from them, and we have something that might have a possible announcement on either November 10th or 11th. And that's what this video is about. We will go through. I am very well versed on uh, what um, what it is. Uh, lots of YouTubers secret this out. And I've uh, jumped on to that bandwagon, and here we go. So, if you didn't know, um, Rocksteady is the main, uh, developer for Warner Bros., especially for the DC games. They have made most, uh, I do believe not all of them, but most of the Arkham games. And a couple other games that aren't as big as those. Um, there's been a lot of rumors that Rocksteady has been working on several titles. And, uh, in this video we will be talking about what those are and if they're actually an fully coming. Two are, we're not sure about. Uh, one, uh, well, one you're gonna be probably in, no, not a lot of people have probably heard it. Um, well, it's kind of exploded into the web now, but, uh, yeah. My eye is hating me today. There. That's better. Okay. So. Rocksteady was, uh, not at E3 2018. Um. We had, ru we had rumors of games in the works back at E3. But nothing was announced, and not long after they said that they were working on something, just it wasn't fully ready to be unveiled at E3. Now there have been leaks, there's been rumors, there's been a lot about games coming in the future, or what I have here in On the Horizon. What'll come, we do not know. It could be a lot of stuff. I didn't just... Right? No, I didn't mute it. Okay. Uh, you can still hear me, probably. Uh, but yeah. Rocksteady Misty 3. Usually they would 
going with PlayStation, being that Warner Bros. goes in with them uh, most of the time. And uh, they didn't. That got a lot of people thinking, being that a, a lot of people were expecting a major announcement from Rocksteady at E3. Uh, but nothing came. So that raised a couple that had some heads turn, and uh, the company's been very silent. The developers were silent for years after, uh, for quite a while after, um, after Arkham Knight's release back in 2015. Uh, does that mean something's probably in the works? Probably. Just certain games, it takes quite a while to work on. Depends what game it is. Some companies are so big that they work on quite a few. Rocksteady isn't that big, though, so... Uh... Yeah, let's move on. So, bunch of random red lines. Probably should have had the lines come in also. But, um, Rocksteady w was rumored back, I don't know, this was a leaked game back in, uh, I don't know how long ago. But, uh, it's, um, still pretty well out there. A lot of people think it's still coming. Just Warner Bros. moved it from Rocksteady to another one of their studios that they actually bought uh, all, not all, not that long ago. They bought the company that they that they they took control of the company they sent it to not that long ago. Um, there was rumors of a Harry Potter game in the works. And, uh, well, it, it is kind of still in the works, um, probably, uh, just not under the name, uh, not under Rocksteady anymore. Warner Bros. moved it from Rocksteady, and that moved, uh, that turned a lot more heads, um, and they moved it to a company that kind of went down. They have one game that a lot of us know about. They made, uh, well, most recent Cars, uh, Cars 3 Driven to Win, and, uh, uh, an old one, uh, Disney Infinity. And that is Avalanche Studios. They Warner Bros. moved Harry the Harry Potter um project to Avalanche for who knows why, um, which brought the question. Now what is Rocksteady working on? The company that has made m most of the Ar Batman Arkham games has just fully fallen off the face of the earth. That doesn't happen. Ever. Something must... There must have been something they were working on that had them get moved off a other project and get put onto a new one. Has to mean that. So, of course, people start digging, rumors start coming, le games are leaked, um, and we have certain things that have been rumored for quite a while. Some things have kind of been leaked that they're working, uh, we, well, we have confirmation that they're working on something. We don't know what now. Uh, and we kind of have an idea of when they might reveal what they're working on. So, shortly after Arkham Knight's, uh, after 
Arkham Knight, uh, a lot of people started figuring out that, um, well, thinking that the next game in the, that Rocksteady would be working on would be a, uh, well, a Superman game. Well, yes, rumors of that have been in the mix, um, for years, um, now, um, there's been nothing. We've had this. <laughs> We've had this photo. That's it. <laughs> We've had the photo. Um. But. Besides that. What else? It was rumored for quite a while. That Rocksteady was working on a Superman game. Like I said. Until very recently, when there ha has been a sudden spike up from Rocksteady, and another game has been rumored that they are working on. Um, it's very high. Um, lots of people have been covering it. It is very rumored now. We don't know for certain. But it's definitely possible that, um, well, let's just say there's something coming. And honestly, when I heard that it was, that it's probably going to be what I'm about to show you guys, I was shocked. Like, I almost dropped my phone out of my hand when I, when I heard that Rocksteady was, that this was a rumor of something they were working on. Yes, it's a rumor, so it's, it's not confirmed. We have a date that it's probably going to get confirmed. So... I think you could probably figure out what I'm about to pop up on the screen. It's two things, actually. I know that. I did. I put this all together this morning. There is rumors that Rocksteady is working on another Batman Arkham game. Now... Batman Arkham Universe has been a thing. It was re originally released. Uh, it was released as a book, um, a visual guide. But um, there are rumors that there's now a Batman Arkham Universe game in the mix. But the big thing is, what will they announce? Will it be a Superman game? Or Batman Arkham Universe game. No one really knows. It could be either one. Just, uh... We really do not know. <laughs> so. Batman Arkham Universe. It is rumored that Rocksteady is working on it. And it would probably be the last entry in the Arkham series. That would probably be the most logical thing for them to do. <laughs> I'm just saying. Probably would be. It all it, it is also rumored that Rocksteady would probably announce that it is that it is fully coming in November. That or the rumored Superman game. Now, the event that, um, that the game, or games, would probably get unveiled at isn't what you would expect for Rocksteady. Being that, as you know, Rocksteady likes, uh, going in with, uh, PlayStation. PlayStation doesn't have an event coming. At all. Um, the event is in Mexico City on the 10th and 11th of November, 
And that is... EXO 18. It's a, it's an Xbox event. Uh, obviously. Um... Honestly, I was shocked to hear that it's probably going to get unveiled there. Being that... If it's not unveiled there, it most likely would be unveiled at this upcoming E3 at the PlayStation Briefing. Probably. <laughs> um... But who knows? It could be at XO18 when we hear something finally from Rocksteady. It would be... It's been such a long time since we've heard. And... Honestly... I know so many fans of the DC Universe and the Arkham games in general would wish that they would announce at least a game. They they'd be awesome if the super they'd be happy if the Superman game was announced. But honestly, if Arkham Universe comes, I doubt anyone will complain. It would probably be the end of the Arkham series. And then we'd probably see a couple more years of silence from Rocksteady. Hopefully not. But, uh, it would suck. It sucks seeing companies go, uh, go, well, by the wayside and then automatically spike up in a couple years afterwards. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I'm Gaming 5 from the Chemnitz Gaming group saying, stay cool and have fun. I hope to see you all in the next episode of Innator News. And make sure if you f figure out anything that we didn't cover about these t this topic, Make sure to use our hashtag and let us know. We would love to know if we missed anything about these topics. If you know anything, please let us know. Our our uh, two hashtags are listed on the screen. Go ahead and let us know. Until then, until the next Donator news, I'm Game Nader Five from the Kim Loops Game Nader's group saying. Stay cool and um, ha and have fun. Also, favorite the video, share the video with your family and friends, like the video, and subscribe for more epic content. I hope to see you all in the next video. This is Game Nader Five signing off. See you later, in Nader Army.